Folks, how do we get fooled? I'll talk about that and then get into the latest home prices and insights for York Region for week ending July 19th, 2023. Now, if you've watched any of our videos on this channel, you know I come down on other realtors often. I'm, I'm exposing some of the, the, the unscrupulous, some of the, the bad actors in our industry, and, and I'm just kind of calling it like I see it. But as the public, also, you know, the public needs to take some responsibility here. How do so many people get fooled by realtors that don't do what they're supposed to do or don't act professionally? How do so many people get fooled and tricked into this? Well, there's two ways to get fooled. And I've been fooled many times. And I'm not just talking about real estate. Uh, I remember this one time I bought a car and totally, totally got fooled into the car I bought. I've had renovations being done and I got fooled in that. And it, it's, this is not a, a, an industry problem, real estate. This is a life problem. How do people get fooled? Well, there's two ways people get fooled, but I'm going to relate it back to real estate. One is we, ref we, we, we believe what isn't true. So, for example, you want $2 million for your home and the realtor says, yeah, you can get $2 million for your home. It's just not true. It's not going to happen, but you believe it because that's what you want to believe. So we believe what isn't true. That's one way we get fooled. And the other way we get fooled, what is true, we don't believe. You could be interviewing two realtors for selling your home. You want two million, one realtor says, yeah, I'll get you two million, and the other realtor shows you evidence and charts and market reports, and, and here's this house that sold down the street, and here's this house, and look, sir or miss, the most you're gonna get is 1.6 million. You're not gonna get two million. And the evidence is there, and it's clear, and you refuse to believe it. And so you work with the realtor who told you what you wanna hear, and then things don't work out, and whose fault is it? It's never our own personal fault, is it? it? It's never your fault for hiring the wrong person. It's always the realtor's fault. And many times it is and many times it's not. But I just think I wanted to say out here, instead of me beating down on realtors almost on every episode, we as the public need to take some responsibility in the people that we choose to work with. If you feel this video can help somebody you know, please pass it along. If you get value from what we're talking about, subscribe. And if you want to speak with me about your real estate situation, selling, buying, it's really simple. Below this video in the description, there's a link to my calendar. Click on that, book a time that's convenient for you, and we'll talk about whatever's on your mind. Let's get into the numbers. Folks, if you're looking for an awesome two bedroom plus a large den condo in South Richvale, Richmond Hill, check out the video at the end of this video. It's troubling times right now in York Region between Vaughn, Richmond Hill and Markham. Listings are coming on the market and it, it just seems the more and more sellers I speak to, the more and more agents I speak to, more and more people are coming on the market kind of have to sell. I mean, the market's a bit down. Why are you coming on the market now if you maybe don't have to? A lot of people thinking September, October is going to be where things really pick up. That's typically what happens every season, but we still can't guarantee that. And so lots of things happening in the market right now. Let's get into it. Sales, you're going to see right away, sales are down. So I'm starting off with Vaughn, detached properties. I've got a whole year here broken down by week. Last week I have here is week ending July the 19th. 26 detached properties were sold. Four of those were at $2 million or more. Sales are trending down, not just by a little bit, they seem to be coming down quite a bit. Average sold price trending down. The average sold price is now 
1,620,000. That's pretty low for Vaughn for detached properties. If we look back last year, our lowest month was September, an average price of 1.57 million. Well, we're in July and we're at 1.62. Is September this year also going to be our lowest month? We don't know yet. Compared to last year, 1620 is 2% lower than where the average sold price was a year ago. The median price is 6% lower. Median price came way down to 1,447,000. And if we look at the dotted line here, the four week moving average, we can see prices trending downwards. Again, sales are trending down. Of the 26 that sold, 46% sold at list price or more. Now, keep in mind that doesn't always mean com competition. Just because a property sells at list price or more, it could have been on the market for a while at a certain price, and then the sellers just really have to sell. They reduce the price, and boom, it sells right away at list price or a couple dollars more because they reduced it so low. This is the, the effects of what's happening in, in this market many times. 79 detached properties were listed. Active listings, not aggressively, aggressively, but is increasing almost on a weekly basis. So there's more properties available for sale, remaining unsold. As a result, months of inventory is climbing. We're sitting at 2.8 months of inventory. So months, months of inventory is climbing, average sold price is descending that's kind of the relationship between the two we're sitting just at the at the verge of what we would call a balanced market between three to five months in inventory but i can tell you lots of places in vaughn it's going to already have the feel of it being a balanced market here's richmond hill 16 detached properties were sold sales are coming down they're trending down however Property selling at $2 million or more, <coughs> excuse me, eight. So half of the 16 sold at $2 million or more. Well, half of the properties are selling at $2 million plus. Average sold price shot way up to $2 million and 67 is the average sold price, which is 1% higher than where we were a year ago. The median price is also 1% higher than where we were a year ago. Overall, price has been trending down, not aggressively, not by a lot. Well, we have few sales and a few properties selling at $2 million or more kind of keeps prices elevated. Of the 16 that sold, 44% sold at list price or more. Now that percentage of selling at list price or more has been trending down quite a bit. Active listings is trending up and months of inventory is now sitting at 3.7 months of inventory. Very much a balanced market in Richmond Hill. We used to be 0.8, one month of inventory. That's when it was absolutely nuts. Seller's market, an aggressive seller's market. Now it's more balanced. It's more relaxed. It's, you've got time to take a look at the home. You've got time to put in offers to negotiate that's the market we're in right now. Here's Markham, 26 detached properties were sold. Although the last three weeks, sales were kind of similar. Overall, sales have been trending down. Of this 26 that sold, six of those were at $2 million or more. Average sold price week over week climbed up to 1,783,000. 1,783 is 6% lower than where we were a year ago. The median price of 1658 is 10% higher than where we were a year ago. But overall, prices have been trending down, over, especially over the course of the last three months. Of the 26 that sold, 65% sold at list price or more. So of the three between Vaughn, Richmond Hill, and Markham, Markham is the most competitive right now. 67 were listed, active listings really hasn't changed very much over the last two months or so. And months of inventory, although it is trending up over the last three weeks, it hasn't moved by much. It's sitting right now at two months of inventory, but overall trending up 
and as a result, prices trending down. That's the detached market for Vaughn, Richmond Hill, and Markham. Here's condos. Now, condos, this is for all of York Region. 40 condos were sold, which is higher than the previous week and higher than the week before that. So for the last three weeks, sales have been increasing slightly. I'm still saying overall trending down, but week over week, sales are a bit higher. So 40 condos were sold. Two of those were at $1 million or more. Average sold price week over week has come down to 716,000. 716 is 7% higher than where we were a year ago. The median price of 697 is 6% higher than where we were a year ago. And if we try to figure out what's the trend here, what, what are condo prices doing? I, I would say it's kind of flat. Maybe with the median, if we look at median price, we could say for the last month and a half or so, prices have been trending up. However, overall, they kind of look pretty flat over the last three months or so. Of the 40 that sold, 55% sold at list price or more. 121 were listed. Now active listings is increasing and months of inventory, although it's come down over the last three weeks, it's now sitting at 2.8. It's been trending upwards over the span of about three months. So something's got to give what I, I figure with the prices uh, of condos months of inventory is increasing right now prices are kind of flat this is something to really keep an eye on here's a quick summary we're pretty much except for markham we're pretty much in a balanced market type of feeling out there you're going to see properties you you've got time to take a look now i'm saying that but be careful if the property that's listed is a really nice property, an exceptional property. If you think, wow, I really like this, there's a chance you're not going to be the only one. And if the property is priced well, it's still going to go quickly. It's still going to go with competitive bids. So be careful on which property and which area you're, you're, you're looking at because the behavior is going to be different in each of these areas. But overall, you can put offers with conditions. You can go back seeing it once, seeing it twice, having a look, taking your time, and, and I guess a more civilized way of house hunting. Thanks for watching, have an awesome day. Welcome to the Grand Genesis, located at 9088 Young Street. This is unit 705A, it's a large corner suite, great views from these floor to ceiling windows, you get sunshine all day, it's almost 900 square feet and you get two bedrooms, a large den, two full bathrooms and comes with parking and locker. Location, you can't beat it. You're in South Richvale, Richmond Hill. You could walk to Hillcrest Mall, Silver City, lots of shopping, restaurants, everything is close by. Have a look.